Hello my fellow YouTubers, my fellow XXYs and my Lassie XXYs as well uh, meaning there are XXYs who are female as well um, but this is about Kleinfelter Syndrome it's a book that I have had in my possession for maybe six years or so like that um, and it was the best book that explained what Kleinfelter Syndrome is and how it really affects uh, uh, children, boys basically, sons essentially. Um, okay, uh, so here are some important facts to keep in mind. Kleinfelter syndrome is not life threatening. Uh, Kleinfelter syndrome is manageable for families and individuals. Um, and many boys, children, and adults live very productive and successful lives with Kleinfelter syndrome. And many don't as well. Um, and if your son experiences any difficulty, there are many ways in which he may be helped. So please do not fret. Um, it can help parents to talk over feelings and concerns with other parents who have had similar experiences. So again, maybe go to blogs. Um, the Kleinfelter Syndrome Associations in America and, 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 and UK, United Kingdom, um, offer emotional support, practical advice, and more detailed information than is possible in this book. Um, some parents discover during pregnancy that they are going to have a baby with Kleinfelters um, and it's obviously difficult for any parent to hear that their child may be born with a condition. Um, you know, so when given a prenatal diagnosis it is, very per it is a very personal decision as to what to do and one that both parents need to make together. Uh, the Kleinfelter Syndrome Association is available to provide support and information. Uh, they can put you in touch with parents who have been through similar experience. All right. What is Kleinfelter Syndrome? A syndrome is a collection of symptoms or characteristics. The set of characteristics known as Kleinfelter Syndrome was first described by Dr. Harry Kleinfelter in 1942 and is the result of a genetic condition basically something you are born with which is present from the moment of conception. In 1959 it was shown that Kleinfelter syndrome resulted from the presence of an extra X chromosome in males. Um, chromosomes are tiny structures which are present in every cell in every tissue of our body. They carry the information for all the characteristics that we inherit. Usually there are 23 pairs of chromosomes in each cell making 46 altogether. One of each pair comes from the father and one from the mother. Chromosomes contain around 30,000 genes which determine such characteristics as the colour of our eyes and hair. Two special chromosomes, the X and the Y, determine whether a person will be male, which is 46XY, or female, which is 46XX. Girls usually inherit two X chromosomes, one from each parent. Boys usually inherit an X chromosome from their mother and a Y chromosome from their father. In Kleinfelter syndrome, the extra X chromosome is usually present in each cell of the body, making 47 chromosomes in all. Studies show that the extra X chromosome appears to have an approximately equal chance of coming from the mother or the father. The condition occurs by chance and the causes are not known. There is a slightly higher risk of Kleinfelter syndrome occurring in boys born to older mo mothers, they say, but actually that can't be proven. Um, and they go to, on to say, but this only accounts for a minority of cases. Studies have shown that the incidence of the extra X chromosome may occur as often as 1 in 600 male births. Although it is the most common single chromosomal variation in the general population, it is thought that more than more than two-thirds of boys are not diagnosed. That is factual clarity, which is not good, good enough, actually. We need more uh, people to be monitored, check if they are XXY, so that we can help them so they don't have to be aggressive or tired all the time or lacking in concentration. There are a number of uncommon variations of Kleinfelter syndrome which can result in the fo following chromosomal complements. 48XXXY 49XXXXY, 48XXYY, so hello people out there XYs and XXs, 
you know there's a lot of other types of people out there uh, and you know your people who you work with or the people you see on the street and some people you see in the buses um, and going shopping these people easily could be these types of combinations of X's and Y's don't you think um, so you don't get freaked out they're all around you we're not aliens so you know don't worry um, so it is also possible to have a mosaic chromosome complement which means that not all the cells of the body are affected in many cases the boys with a mosaic form of Kleinfelter syndrome are less affected uh, basically they can actually generally have children this is one point um, information about Kleinfelter syndrome is available in medical textbooks yes it is however many medical books remain outdated or describe severe cases uh, the Kleinfelter Syndrome Association has a large and growing network of professionals able to advise on all aspects of the syndrome and they are happy to assist you they say so please contact um, these agencies to help you know if you're concerned or, or you, you, you suspect that somebody you know is like that because you're going to be helping them out more than more uh, well not all of them off some of them don't want to know and that's their own thing isn't it their own right um, did we cause our son to have Kleinfelter syndrome and could we have prevented it happening no nothing either of you did before or during pregnancy caused this it can happen to anyone and I think that's the best healthy attitude so there's no blame going around the blame game is not a good one blaming parents for giving you your life you know your bad life or your bad condition or syndrome or whatever you don't blame people like that natural um, life makes us what we are and we, and we and we try and, and, and find better ways to live. Isn't that true? Um, yes. Are we at greater risk of having a child with Kleinfelter syndrome with our next pregnancy? It can happen, obviously, but it's something not to delve into. What does the extra chromosome mean in infancy and childhood? Well, a hell of a lot. Go to XXY Talk to find out about those sorts of things. There's a children and parents forum there. I won't be there because I'm not allowed to be there <laughs> for some nutcase reason but hey um, so there's physical aspects to Kleinfelter syndrome and um, basically most of that would be um, skinny non-muscular and not a lot of facial hair um, and a, 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 an ability to grow breasts um, and more than a, a general man would and um, well yeah there's there, we all differ that's the truth uh, learning difficulties there is um, a lot of learning difficulties um, w among our community um, in many different areas uh, but with learning difficulties in the mainstream of, of what we're being taught there are also obviously people who are learning other things in other areas so um, you know we're intelligent and, and clever uh, in our own right in our own ways uh, language and social development is also in there in this book. I'm not going to read this whole book. Uh, um, and let's see. Yeah, parents and teachers need to be aware when teaching new skills that they need to show patience and appreciation that much re repetition may be required in order for these boys to retain what has been learnt and that tasks need to be broken down into much smaller steps than usual. Uh, and these problems are not unique to boys with Kleinfelter syndrome. Um, so if your son is experiencing difficulties at school, he should be assessed by an educational psychologist and may require a statement of special educational needs. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll continue this book um, a bit more at an, in another video. Uh, I realise that this is a nine minute video. Uh, but I think it's important to start giving uh, stuff that's written down instead like instead of giving my opinions give you maybe more factual stuff um, and I'll, I'll, I'll do videos of, of my opinions um, which I, I hope will turn out to be fact in the future uh, but for now um, I'm glad that you've been with me to listen to um, the, the, the guide for parents for Kleinfelter syndrome and I will do that again. I'll I'll do it more uh, planned out. But uh, XX wise, please don't not do not freak out. We're not freaks, and we're not aliens. Uh, we are great people.
and enjoy ourselves. Really enjoy yourself. All right.